I'm April Estes, owner of Estes Funeral Chapel. I met Richard, my husband, when I was about 15 years old. He was my childhood sweetheart. He always wanted to be a mortician, but I had no intentions of marrying a mortician. But decided he was going to mortuary science school. He graduated and worked under his uncle. And then he started working for a funeral chapel here in Minneapolis. Then he went into business for himself. And yes, we had challenges. We had been promised a lot of stuff by different people. And uh, he just had to work for everything that he got. Everything he got. Estes Funeral Chapel will always be Estes Funeral Chapel. It will always be in the family. And I know that Tracy will carry his legacy on. I always say that I felt like God called me to do this. Um, obviously, as a kid growing up in Kansas, I wasn't exposed to the funeral business because I didn't, didn't live here. Um, but something just was placed upon me to do it. I always found it interesting. You know, once we would come and visit, um, it didn't scare me. I was always very inquisitive about what my uncle did. And so once I graduated high school, um, I went right into Mortuary Science School, went through and, and moved right up here and did what I knew I always wanted to do. Throughout COVID, we were able to help families by giving discounts and working with them so that they would be able to say goodbye to their families. We all understood the, 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 you know, the severity of the pandemic, especially financially on a lot of families. So, you know, being able to offer some type of a payment plan for families, um, being able to find some creative ways to cut costs in certain areas uh, for families. And families were very appreciative to us. Um, we really feel like, you know, God has blessed us to be able to help. My uncle, he kind of started his business with that mindset of being able to help people Everybody knew that Mr. Estes was going to help them in the lowest part of their life. And uh, so he loved North Minneapolis, and North Minneapolis loved Estes. When he passed, people would see me in the store or someplace, and they'll say, oh, Miss Estes, are you going to sell the chapel? Don't sell the chapel, because that's the only thing we have to call our own. You know, you can't just run a business when you're in a community like we are and just focus on that business. You have to look at the bigger picture and the community at large. And so we're, we're excited to receive this award. Um, we don't take it lightly and we want to continue to, to, to help and serve our community in all capacities since we are here. This chapel will be here in this community when I'm gone. I can close my eyes knowing that my husband is always going to be known in North Minneapolis.